Hi, my name is Zoe and today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about Agra and Jaipur as well and just showing you what it's like so you can get an idea of some of the things you can do there and what you can see. So when I went to Agra, I only had pretty much a day and a half. I arrived one morning and then I left the next afternoon. So I just stayed over one night and that was literally enough time. I think that a lot of people, when they go to Agra, maybe they think there's more, there's going to be more things to do. But really, you just want to be there for enough to see the Taj Mahal. And also, um, I would totally recommend seeing the Agra Fort as well, which is also really cool. The Agra Fort is obviously not the main attraction of Agra, but it is really, really cool. It's this huge fort. You can walk all around it. Uh, you can get a guided tour if you want or just pay like I think about $5 to get in. And it is really, really nice. So I would totally recommend checking that out. And then we, of course, have the Taj Mahal. So what I would recommend, what I did, was get up really early in the morning and you can go see the Taj Mahal at sunrise. But what I didn't realize is that everybody has this idea. So there's actually a huge line to even get in. So I almost missed actually seeing the sunrise because I was just in the line waiting to get in. So if you are planning on doing this, please make sure you get up like half an hour earlier than you're expecting and then you'll know that you're definitely going to be there in time. Once you get inside, it's so beautiful. Like, yeah, there's still a ton of people. Obviously, it's one of the most popular tourist destinations. But once you get inside and the light is hitting the Taj Mahal and it's actually so big and so beautiful, it's in these gorgeous gardens, so it's totally worth going I think that one was maybe $26-ish for a ticket, so a lot more expensive than everything else in India, but um, totally reasonable, obviously. Um, once you've gone into the Taj Mahal and seen it, another thing that you can do is actually go across the riverbank to see the other side of the Taj Mahal. You pay like $1 or $2 to get into these beautiful gardens, and then you can just sit down, have like a little picnic or something like that, and it just gives you a less crowded view, more relaxed place to sit down and you're still watching the Taj Mahal. A lot of people actually go there for sunset, which is really, really nice. Then I drove about four hours to get to Jaipur. Jaipur is known as the pink city and it's because it's got a lot of very nice pink buildings. So the most uh, famous one is called the Hawa Mahal, um, also known as the Palace of Winds or the Pink Palace. And it's really beautiful. So you'll definitely see that when you get there. I would definitely recommend also seeing the Amber Palace. It's this huge palace up on a hill, which gives you an amazing view. But also when you walk around it, it's kind of like this maze. Like there's just stairs and corridors and you're going up and down and you have no idea where you are or what's going on. So it's really fun. Obviously you can get a guide for that one too, which will make it easier to not get lost. But it's a little bit fun to get lost as well. With that one, I think it might have been about a $5 entry. If you have a student card, definitely make sure you have that with you because pretty much everything in the Rajasthan area in India, you can get a lot cheaper, like half price, just if you have a student card. So make sure you bring that with you. Another thing that's really cool is something called the Janta Manta. So it's kind of like this huge garden area with all these really, really big uh, like sundials and things to look at, like the stars, something that people would have used like years and years ago. And it talks a lot about star signs and things and that. It's really cool just to see the size of these things. They're absolutely huge. Um, oh, you can go to the Stepwell as well. The Stepwell is just outside the Amber Palace. And it's just obviously this huge step oil kind of thing. It's free to go there. You just drive up and it just looks really cool because you've probably not seen anything like that. And you can check it out. Just a bunch of steps. Um, there is also a monkey temple or like a sun temple, which I tried to get to. But unfortunately, I got lost and went to the wrong one. And I was wondering why there was no monkeys there. And it was because I was at the wrong one. So uh, that can be when having a guide is good as well. But you never know. Just like be careful when you're walking around. People are always going to be um, asking for money or if they help you do anything, especially like the kids and stuff, they'll like ask for money afterwards. And it's only 20 rupees half the time. It's like very cheap. But um, I've been told that if you give one person money, then everyone's going to run up and try to get money. So just be aware of that. Um, I think that is it. 
So yeah, I had three nights and uh, maybe like three and a half days in Japer. I think that was a good amount of time. There was a lot to see there, a lot of really cool forts um, and smaller temples and things like that. So that was really nice. And it definitely does have very authentic food there. It was hard to find anything touristy, um, but that's fine. You're in India, you wanna have the authentic curries. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any other places that are cool or any questions you'd like to ask me, please leave a comment below. Thank you so much. Bye.